think tattoos are a problem for a job interview? Don't worry, we have two ways to make sure that you'll get the job. What I'm using today is I'm using something that's a highly pigmented color. Dermacolor is a great way uh, to get the colors that you need. You want to make sure that you have a tone that matches your skin. So in this case, she's got a really nice warm undertone. So what I'm doing, I'm, I've chosen a color and I'm actually mixed a custom color specifically for her. Um, this is, like I said, it's really highly pigmented. That's what you're looking for when you're looking for a tattoo cover up. Um, a lot of times when you have um, have something that has a blue base. So like I have I have a tattoo here on my arm that's a that's a black base tattoo. So it's it's got a blue undertone tone to it. Um, you're going to need to use something that's really warm like an orange or a red corrector to balance that out and then you can put your color over the top. So she's got this this tattoo here that's actually red already underneath it so all I need to do is just use a regular color that's going to match her skin tone. So I've already done that. I've already mixed the color. And so what you want to do is you just want to go in there and I use, you can use a brush, you can use a sponge, you can use your fingers. Again, anything that you have on hand um, but I prefer to use a brush to start and I'm just going to pat it lightly on so that we start getting the coverage that we need. And you see I just start Padding in there to get the coverage. And what's interesting about some of these products, especially with tattoo cover up, um, they once you start putting them on, they kind of tack up and then they get a little bit dry. You want that. Um, especially on an area where you have, uh, like on the neck where you're going to have clothing that's going to be nearby, um, you want it to tack up and you want it to set because if it doesn't set, if it's still creamy or moist, it's going to move around and it's going to transfer to your clothing. So using a more professional product is going to get you better coverage and it's going to keep from transferring and slipping. So you see I've literally just gone in and you can see the coverage on there is pretty great. So what you want to do is you want to like set a layer down and you want to let it set for a second and then you want to layer a little bit more on top of it to get full coverage. So you don't want that, that tattoo to actually show through. What I'm going to use this for, for a minute while I'm letting it tack up is I'm just going to use a sponge just kind of blend out the edges a little bit by tapping. It's again, it's a very simple tap, 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 press, kind of press it in and then just move the product around just a little bit just so that you don't have a, a really hard edge. Now that we have our first layer down, we're going to go in with another, another layer right over the top that just make sure that, that you get the full coverage that you're looking for. So again, we're just going to go right in, we're just going to tap, tap, tap That's over the great. top. Again, this is the kind of thing that you're going to do if you have a little bit more time. Yeah. Obviously there are those moments when you just got to get up and go, but if you have a little bit more time and you have, have the preparation, you can just get in there and just really cover it up. And the closer you can get to matching your skin tone, the better. Again, we're just tap, tap, tapping. And we're just kind of blending it into the skin that's around. And the reason why you don't want to go back and forth is because you're, then you're going to actually lift the product. We don't want to do that. We've got the product down. We want it to set. We want it to be natural. So just tapping just brings it, just pushes it right in and sets it in the place where we want it. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of powder. I'm actually taking the powder, putting it on the sponge that I used. I'm gonna press it right in. And this is the this is a translucent powder. Derm blend uh, powder is great for that. Um, I'm using RCMA. You can get, uh, there's all different kinds of powders on the market that are available. Just make sure it's translucent because you don't want it to have that white cast. Is that a CVS product? You can absolutely get translucent powder at CVS. Yeah, so I'm just pressing in and, and pressing it in so that it sets, and then I'm gonna lightly dust over the top of it. I'm again. guessing the powder isn't as important as like the actual cov cover no, up the makeup because that's Correct. what's gonna really hide it. Right, but powder the powder is, is necessary to lock it in so that it's right. transfer resistant. We don't want it transferring onto her uniform. There you go. So hopefully these two ways of covering up tattoos have really helped you guys. Thanks for watching.